coating is the process of applying a dry powdered paint compound of pigments, specialized resins, and fillers that melt and fuse together during the curing process to form a painted finish. The solid powder particles are electrostatically charged when they are exiting the low velocity air powered spray gun. What all that means is basically it comes out of a powder coating gun and it adds electrostatic, a piece of electricity to the powder that's basically like pieces of plastic powder. And then the wheel, the piece of metal is grounded to the earth. So that little, those little specks go doink and then stick to the wheel. And then it's all stuck to the whole wheel and then they carry it into an oven. The oven heats up and those little plastic pieces just melt and they just go and then create a amazing finish that's four times as hard as paint and durable. So with that being said, it's gonna make complete sense when you guys see the whole process. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I learned so much and it's super rad. Thank you guys at BGB, Josh, appreciate it. Enjoy. What up guys, welcome to another video. Today we are starting the first process of refreshing the STI and making it look great again. Um, I recently took it off-road, which I want to insert a clip right here. Super fun roads in Pine Top, Arizona, and like the most rally situation I've ever been in, and me and Trevor are definitely going back to film like some legit episodes for the channel, but first step of this refresh process is making the wheels look great and as you can see the wheel and the dip is starting to come off and I'm ready for a more permanent solution I've always done temporary stuff like plasti dip and now super wrap and it works really good but I'm kind of harsh on the wheels going off road and stuff so it doesn't stay on too too long it lasted a while and I do like super wrap better than plasti dip but I'm ready for the permanent powder coat solution so I can wash them, take a power washer to them, etc. So let's get started. Yeah. Don't forget to pop out your hubcaps before you take them to get powder coated. On the way to the tire shop to get the tires taken off, STI wheels, and then I'm grabbing some uh, drift tires for Saturday. This place in Mesa called Super Tire, I paid. 100 bucks total for two tires that are in pretty good shape and got the four STI tires removed. Four tires removed, two used tires. I actually had quite a bit of tread on them for 100 bucks. Do you guys know a better deal in Mesa or Gilbert or Chandler? Let me know. Got all the STI wheels off the tires. Got the four tires and then the two new for Saturday night for drifting. Shout out to the boys at Super Tire in Mesa. Always easy. Just got home. Yeah, film it on half naked, bro. My we can film you. Can Gentleman's out. bet. One dollar. The mini truck cannot do a burnout. I think with the water we can. I even the odds. You want us to slide these? I think, I think, I think it'll do it. Here, you want us to chalk the front tire so you don't have to hold the brake? I bet this thing could do a burnout no. like this. No? You think you're man enough to clutch it and break it? You hit my car, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I forgot the keys. Right? <laughs> Did it work? The tire pressure monitoring system and the valve stem. We gotta get it off. It looks like a small Torx before we take it to powder coat. Learned the hard way that. Once you remove the pressure monitor, you have to have a valve stem removal tool. So we can't do it here. Luckily, there's a complete auto care place down the street. They said they do it for free. So I'm gonna go do that. I should have just had them do it at the tire shop, but I didn't know what I was doing. Like running this year. Yeah, these are worth their weight in gold. They're like uh, extra long snap-on dikes. They, oh, cool. They're expensive as shit. They work. And especially when you're trying to go and save time. Right. And then there you go. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, man. What was your name? Jesse. Cameron, nice to meet you, Jesse. Take, Take care, yourself. dude. Shout out to Firestone and Gilbert. Thank you, guys. In a normal situation, you don't go to all these places. You just drop your wheels off with Josh. You can bring your wheels with tires to Josh. You can bring your whole car to Josh. Or you can bring your rims to Josh at BGB. 
but your price is reflected upon that because that makes more work for them. So find out at your local powder coat shop what they can do. Josh can do everything, it makes it easy for everyone, but I brought just the wheels to show this process. We are at the first stop, which is Express Metal Cleaning um, in Phoenix here, where we are going to soak the wheels in chemicals so the dip and the gray gun metal coating on the wheels from factory will come off and then Josh can sandblast them waiting on Josh to get here and then he's gonna walk us through it. We're in the back of the chemical stripping place that Josh showed me around. This is Josh. Josh introduce yourself. Hello. Tell us what you do. I'm Josh BGB powder coat Tempe Arizona. Cameron found his way to us with these sweet wheels and uh, we're gonna fix them up. So first step what do they need to know? Reasons why they come here first. So two, two reasons, whether it was a factory alloy finish such as the silver or it has a, some kind of top coat, either like a plasti dip or paint. We have to remove that in order to get uh, the end result, our powder coated product to high quality. So first step is to remove this stuff. Uh, we work with a chemical company in Phoenix that, that does all our chemical dipping and, and really that's the best way to get it back down to bare metal. So this. Uh, caliper that we're picking up now is something that we had chemically stripped. We're going to take it back and do our thing to make it, you know, nice and shiny. I think these are actually going purple, which is funny, but you can imagine what we need to do to these wheels to make them look like bare metal here. So, if you think about it, you got to remember that this was like a bright, this could have been a black or a bright yellow or something fully painted, powder coated. But when you use chemicals this strong at this place, that's all they do. They can get any piece of metal back to its OEM like stock finish so he can properly paint it and have a finish that doesn't flake off, right? That's correct. Yep. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the best application is a blank canvas. So, we strip it down and and uh, and in in that way it's just it's the pro it's the proper way to do it. There's no impurities, even any kind of grease or residue left from when it was installed. We're completely removing that, so we have that blank canvas. So then the next step would be pick them up. They yep. should be finished. Yep. So after your wheels are done, they'll look like this. We're gonna pick them up. We're gonna do our thing, which is we will in turn sandblast these. The sandblasting is really two purposes. We're, we're removing any kind of chemical residue or anything that was left over, but also we're, we're promoting good adhesion with, with physically media blasting these and, and, and more or less etching these. And it gives the, the powder coat something really, really good to bite to. And, and again, that's, it's for the, for the end result of a, of a nice finish. People choose powder coat because it is four times stronger than paint. And we really can ensure that by, by going through these steps properly. So, All right, so another thing I wanted to mention, which these wheels bring up the question, uh, initially when people want that custom look on the wheel of what to do, whether they, uh, whether they go with a plastic dip or vinyl wrap or spend the money to do powder coat. So this is, this is very indicative of what I see a lot is that people will go often based on the dollar, their choice is made that it's cheaper to go with either plastic dip or with the vinyl wrap. So, you know, essentially, initially we get the same color outcome. We get the gold wheels on the Subaru and we're looking sweet. The downside is, is that with the plastic dip or with the vinyl wrap, that it, it looks good for a while. You got, the, you got the sheen, you got the luster, but then you start getting developing little, little nicks in here. You know, this one we peeled on a little bit, but we can see how, much, how easy it was for us to peel in some of these areas. So it just it kind of flakes up and comes off. And you know, if you're running your, your car through the car wash, it's, it's gonna attack this, this less superior coating on your wheel. So we, we just, in order to do it right, we need to strip them, but it's really the right way to do it is to, to have them powder coated. As I mentioned, it's four times stronger than paint. It's gonna hold up to car wash. It has UV uh, inhibitors in it, so it's gonna hold up to our Arizona sun, and, and it's just gonna last you, you know, a long time. It's worth, uh, it's worth the added cost to, to have the, the wheels looking good for a long time to come, so. One thing I wanna throw in too myself is that I hate about wrapping, we are doing, rubber coating on wheels like this or vinyl coating is you can't take a power washer straight to it and I'm one of those people that's just like I just want to get it done and spray it off instead of just go and scrub it with your hand so the fact that I will be able to just power wash the mud or the tar or whatever off the wheels is a selling point for me in itself so huge benefit to powder coating. days later and we are now at BGB Powder Coat 
and I'm gonna go find Josh and have him work us through the next steps to get the wheels going. So step, this is step two in the cleanup process. We got them back from chemical, got them completely stripped and bare. Um, now we wanna sandblast them. Not only will that clean any chemical residue, but it also is, uh, by sandblasting them, it etches them, and so it promotes really good adhesion with the powder coat to bond to the sandblasted um, rim. So we got them back, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna give you a little show of what that entails. This one is, uh, we haven't sandblasted yet. This one is straight back from chemical. Um, so you can see there's a little bit of uh, markings just because the chemical is liquid. So we're gonna remove that with sandblast. And again, like I said, it, by sandblasting it also, you know, promotes the good adhesion with the powder coat bonding to the wheel. So we're, well, these, these three of your wheels are already done. This one we're gonna sandblast. So we'll show a little bit of what that entails in the booth. electrostatically charged and the wheel is on earth ground and through the special applicator that charged particle is almost drawn to the to the wheel or substrate through the ground so it, it really just as soon as it comes out of the applicator you can see it really starts to bond to the wheel Wheels have been in for 30 minutes. Time to pull them out. They look nice. Oh. Dude, they look so nice and stoked. Thanks, man. Wheels are all dialed, ready to go. I'm super stoked at how actually gold and blingy these are compared to all the dip I've ever done. So these the car is gonna look extra icy. So I'm gonna head to the tire shop, but I wanna say thanks again to Josh. Appreciate it, Josh. Thank you. Yep, Any you're last words? Uh, no, just uh, thanks for kind of showing the step-by-step -step process. Uh, just also let your viewers know that we can we can do powder coating, anything metal, patio furniture, armor bumpers, as well as the wheels. So check out our website, gotpowdercoat.com, and we're here for you whenever you need us. So thanks, Cameron, for uh, doing that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you learned something and thank you Josh so much for teaching me how to powder coat, teaching all you guys how to powder coat. So if you guys need your wheels powder coated, hit up Josh at BGB. Powder coat it, I'll leave his information below and his Instagram on the screen. Shoot him a message, give him a call, let him know you wanna get your wheels powder coated. Mention my name, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of things that you wanna learn next, comment down below 
and I'm gonna clean up this huge mess, so later.